what the heck are you doing in my bed? Oh my god, why are you even here? What have we done? You don't know? I, I, I don't know either. I'm trying to remember, but I think... I mean, I, all we did was drink, right? Okay, so why the heck are you in my bed? You don't know. That's very assuring. But I don't either. Oh my god. If my brother finds out, he's gonna kill us. No, like, I would be dead meat. You would be dead meat. Okay, well, we have to figure out a way to sneak you out. Maybe through the window? But you might break a couple bones. Maybe not do that. Okay, well, what the heck are we gonna do? You're getting a call? <gasps> Is it from my brother? What does he want? Okay, okay, should be quiet, because he might be here, and if he hears you, then our plan will go to shit, so just answer the call, act calm and collected, and totally like you didn't just wake up in my bed, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll be quiet. No, don't tell him that you're here, just tell him you're home. Okay. <sighs> what did he want? He wants to hang out. Do you two just not get sick of each other? I mean, we literally hung out all night yesterday. Just drinking and everything. <laughs> we stayed up late, didn't we? How many Christmas movies did we watch? Whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> so you remember how many Christmas movies we watched, but you don't remember what we did last night. I don't either. Maybe... Maybe you were just too tired and we slept. Maybe, yeah. I'm hoping that's what we did. But then again, now that you're here, I mean, maybe I can ask how you would feel if you'd know that we did something last night. Would you hate it? Would you never talk to me again? Would you avoid my brother? Really? So you wouldn't hate it? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I think you're flirting with me. That's not very appropriate, is it? I mean, I'm your best friend's little sister. It's kind of weird. Oh, it is so weird. <laughs> I think... Maybe use the opportunity to make it look like you have a thing for me or maybe you do have a thing for me I don't know, both could work why are you not saying anything? are you still like drunk from last night? hmm interesting, interesting well now that we're here and we're having this conversation you know I've always noticed the way you look at me. Yeah, whenever you come over and you guys are playing games, and I go downstairs into the kitchen grabbing a snack, I notice your eyes are the only ones staring at me. I mean, I've heard my brother's friends talk about how hot I am like a thousand times. It just never gets old. They're all... perverts. <laughs> yeah, and maybe sometimes I wear certain things too. You know? For somebody to notice me, one specific person, and I think it always worked out in my favor. You'd be stealing glances at me all the time. And I remember this one time they were talking about how hot I am. I was eavesdropping, as always. And you were the only person who stood up for me, and you were like, stop saying that. You know, I think ever since I... I've always thought of you differently. Because... I mean, I know my brother hates it, and he always tells them to shut up about it, but you specifically said something about it, and I think that showed a lot. Even though you were thinking it too, weren't you? You are a shit liar. You are. <laughs> you know, I can tell exactly when you're bullshitting me. 
It's part of knowing you for so long. And besides, I'm not a little girl anymore. I can tell when you're a little bit flustered, and I think what I said was definitely right, because I got a reaction out of you. I mean, I have to admit, it was a little bit weird drinking with you and my brother's friends. Well, because it's not my usual type of vibe. I was supposed to hang out with my friends, but of course they decided to go clubbing, and I did not feel like going clubbing. I mean, yeah, of course, who doesn't? But I think I definitely prefer what we did last night. Even if it's a blur and I can barely remember anything that happened, I know that we watched a lot of Christmas movies and we ate a lot of snacks. And a lot of cinnamon rolls, didn't we? <laughs> you know the way to my heart. Oh gosh, my brother's calling me. Why is he calling me? I swear, it's like he knows. Do you think he knows? Maybe he can hear us. Okay, shh, let me answer. Hello? Hey, bro. <laughs> me. I'm in my room. Why? What do you want? I'm feeling okay. I'm not hungover or anything. I left in the middle of the night. Did I? I, I must have been so tired I couldn't <laughs> stay up anymore. Oh, really? So I wasn't the only one, I see. No, yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for checking on me. Okay, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. That was weird. He never calls me. Do you think... Do you think he knows? God, this is just crazy. I would have never in a million years thought that I would wake up with you in my bed. Shirtless. God, I'm never drinking with you again. Because it's dangerous. And, I mean, I'd hate to ruin what you have with my brother. You guys have been friends for so long. And isn't it kind of against the bro code if you go for your best friend's sister? <laughs> yeah, I know all about the bro code. My brother preaches it, like, every single day. It's like he knows I have a thing for one of his friends, and he's trying to make a message. I did just say that. Well, yeah, I've always had a thing for one of his friends. A specific person. Well, maybe he's with me right now. <laughs> There's a reason I wore those skirts around you. Whenever you would come over to swim, and I'd be wearing my bikinis, you just wouldn't look away from me. I still remember this time you brought your girlfriend here. She's your ex now, right? Okay, good. <laughs> You brought her here, and I was so jealous that I think I was so pissed for the rest of that night. And my brother realized. He was trying to get me to say what's wrong with me, but I just couldn't figure it out. It didn't hit me how jealous I was until I saw how relieved I was when he broke up with her. I found myself happy, thinking, oh, I'm so glad you broke up with her. Even if I knew that the two of us would probably never happen. Well, because you're his best friend. And I know how close you guys are and you would never do anything to jeopardize your friendship, right? I didn't want to come in the middle. And besides, I always felt like you saw me as this immature little girl. Nothing more. I mean, I'm a lot older now, and a lot more mature, and a lot wiser, so I think I'm a lot better. But I haven't had the chance to show you, because 
You avoid me or something. You do. Why do you do that? Is being around me that hard that you just can't do it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're cute when you're all flustered like this. Yeah, I mean what I said. No, it's not the alcohol talking. I mean, I have the worst headache in the world right now, but I don't think I'm drunk anymore. <laughs> I'm very aware of what I'm saying. I think you're here for a reason, and I don't think we should deny this anymore. There's definitely something between us. There's always been. I mean, you don't have to think about my brother right now. It's just the two of us. You've always wanted me, and I've always wanted you. Hey. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're so far away. I want to make the most of this before you have to leave. Do you promise that things are not going to be weird after this? Good. Because I don't want them to. I've always saw you as more than just my brother's friend. In fact, I think you were my first ever crush <laughs> growing up. Yeah, I've always had a crush on you. I just pushed him away, I guess. But you have to realize that I'm not a little girl anymore. And I know what I want. And I'm not going to let my brother get in the middle of this. If you guys were really friends, you wouldn't let something like this get in the way. And I think if there's a spark, we should definitely explore it. Don't you agree? I think so too. I mean, if it makes you nervous, we definitely don't have to say anything to him right now. I think he already has a suspicion seeing as he called the both of us and he never calls me this early in the morning. But let's just take it easy. Let's not stress about anything and everything will be okay. So now that you agree, how about you come here and kiss me then? Stop looking at me like that. Definitely wasn't expecting this morning to go so well, but here we are. I like you too. A lot. I think it's going to be fun sneaking around my brother. I like a little bit of risk. I know you do. Speaking of risk, I don't know if my brother is home right now, and I have no clue how I'm going to sneak you out. Yeah, you told him you're not here. So if he finds you here, it's going to look really bad. Okay, I'll go first. Make sure he's not here. Kind of keep a lookout. And then I'll call you or message you. And if all is in the clear, then you can go. And maybe I can get dressed up and we can go get breakfast together. Avenue Brunch House? You know it. I'm really hungry, and I really want to get a waffle right now. Maybe we can share one. It would be like our first little date. Oh no, you still want to take me on a date? Well, I'm not going to say no to that. I just can't believe <laughs> that this is actually happening. Are you coming over later? You guys are going to play games together again? Okay, so maybe you can swing by and say hi. Or maybe I'll just come downstairs again and hang out with you guys. I know my brother's going to hate it, but you can get over it. What's that? <laughs> you don't want them to look at me. So now you're worried about that. 
I know you've always been a little jealous that the other boys are looking at me. But you don't have to be. Because right now, I like what we have and I want to see where it could go. You're not just some boy I just met. Like, <laughs> you are the real deal. And you don't have to worry about anybody else because I've always had my eyes on you. <laughs> Look at that smile. That made you happy, huh? Hmm. Okay, enough of this. I'm feeling all soft, which is gross. Um, so I'm gonna go downstairs, make sure everything's okay. Keep your phone with you and get dressed up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like this view though. Okay, no, get dressed. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'll text you, okay? <laughs>